right. This is going to be the coolest one because it is the closest to the Earth. So although we have a few supermoons to work with throughout the year, this is the one you want to see. Now, for those of you all worried because there is a meteor shower after the supermoon, supermoon's not going to really hinder that a whole lot because a lot of those meteors are still going to be bright enough you can see them. But basically, here's what we've got going on. We're right about in this area here, okay? So now normally the moon is about uh, 252,000 miles away from us, okay? But this particular time of the year, we're a heck of a lot closer, all right? To kind of give you a view of what's going on here, we've got the sun on one area, obviously the rays shooting over at the moon, so that gives us our standard full moon. But when the moon's closest, it's 222,000 miles away. So yeah, it's still a long ways away, but a heck of a lot closer than what we would normally see, and they call that the perigee phase of the moon. That's when we do get that full moon. So a little tidbit of information for you. On the weather scene, here's how things are shaping up. Clouds starting to build build over top of the uh, eastern portions of the state, and that is going to be the big story over the next few days. Those clouds are going to continue to build, but we don't really have much in the way of rain. Again, a lot of this is cloud cover. A few sporadic showers south of Pueblo, just north of Walsenburg. Over the next few hours, here's how things are going to shape up for us. Those clouds are going to continue to stream into the area, and notice everything's kind of coming from that northeastern corner. We refer to that usually as a backdoor cold front. You get that little bit of a cooler burst of air from the back half of the state, and again, that's that's what's going to help to trigger off a lot of this storm activity. By about 11 a.m., we're already going to start seeing some showers move through the Springs area as the day progresses. A lot of convection over the higher elevations, and those storms are going to continue to track right across the burn scar area. And notice we're getting some areas of very, very heavy showers forecasted for tomorrow. When you start to see the yellows and oranges tracking right across the Springs and North, those are one, the ones we're going to need to really, really track and monitor tomorrow. The problem we've been having with the forecast is model have kind of been all over the charts the past few days. In other words, they're not consistent. So, in other words, we know we're going to get thunderstorms, but it's hard to say just exactly when and where those are going to pop up. So we'll definitely have to keep an eye to the sky tomorrow. As for temperatures tonight, fairly comfortable into the 50s and 60s across the region. Tomorrow warming up nicely as well into the 80s out east. And that warm, moist air is what's going to help to really fire off that storm activity. Over the next seven days, here's how things shape up for us. Looking at uh, the 70s to start this week out, and then nice high pressure builds in by Tuesday, Wednesday. That's going to really warm things up and bring those temperatures back up and move those rain showers out of the way for at least a little while. Same story for Pueblo, warming up to that 88 degree mark by Wednesday. Canyon City, a little bit better chance of showers throughout the week, but still fairly nice Tuesday, Wednesday there. About every day in the Canyon City, of course, we do need to keep in mind afternoon thunderstorms rolling through the area. We do have the moisture to work with, and even on Tuesday, Wednesday for the other parts around the counties, we do want to keep our eye to the sky, but the chances are very, very minimal of afternoon thunderstorms. So again, big story is a bit of a clearing once we move into Tuesday, Wednesday. The big weather story over the next day or so is going to be tomorrow. We've got a lot of moisture to work with, so we'll definitely have to track that. Yeah. Get your stuff done early in the morning. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Get all the plans done in the morning. <laughs> Be braced for the afternoon. That's the big story. So. Right. Perfect, Jason. Yep. Thank you.